Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is Apache J Meter Explained. Apache, Apache, however you want to pronounce it, I really don't care. But Apache J Meter is a software testing tool made from the company Apache. It's most often called just J Meter. It is open source, that means it's free to use for anybody. That means after this video, you can go download it from their website and start using it right away. There are more than 20,000 plus companies currently using JMeter, many of which have over $100 million in revenue. It is mostly found in United States companies in the software industry. So now you see that JMeter is very popular, but what does it do and why is it so widely used? This video will cover what is JMeter and then what are the pros and cons to JMeter. So first, what is JMeter? JMeter is a Java-based tool that allows users to do load and performance testing. The users can then analyze the results from these tests. Currently, it's used to test web applications and can test either dynamic or static web pages. So now you might be a little lost like, what is load testing, performance testing, or it's just more buzzwords for me. I'll try to break it down as simple as possible. Load testing is a type of performance testing. Performance testing involves creating tests that generally measure the speed, responsiveness, and stability of a computer, network, software application, or device under a workload. So under that definition, for our purposes, JMeter can simulate a website getting a heavy workload or a lot of traffic. For example, let's say when a new sneaker comes out on Full Lock or on one of those websites or Nike.com, and you have millions of users trying to buy it at the same exact time. Will the website slow down? Will it crash? Tools like JMeter can measure this and be preventative measures so that when they do releases, it doesn't crash and they don't lose money. So why are tools like JMeter needed? As I just stated, this is a preventative measure so that company knows in advance how much traffic they can actually handle. And when they get a certain amount of traffic, how the website or application will respond. The goal is always to have the most enjoyable end user experience. So whether it's five people on your website or five million, there shouldn't be a noticeable slowdown in your website. If this is not tested properly in advance, this can lead to your loyal customer base going to other applications. So for example, let's say every time you log on to uber.com and try to get an Uber, the website just crashed. After the third or fourth time, you're gonna no longer be a loyal customer to Uber because there's alternatives. So you'll see, hey, what's Lyft's website like? What's their application like? What's other local what ride share applications like. So now you're losing your customer base because you're gonna test properly in advance. The next topic, what can JMeter actually test? JMeter can test databases, web HTTP and HTTPS requests, SOAP and web web services, FTP, LDAP, Java objects, and shell scripts. And I know what you're thinking next. So what operating systems can I use with JMeter? Because JMeter is Java-based, Anything that's Java compatible, you can use. So Linux, Windows, Mac OS can all be used. Reporting and files. JMeter is capable of showing the results in a report format from your testing. You can show dynamic HTML reports for people to view and use. JMeter also has the ability to extract information from HTML, XML, and JSON, as well as other text-based formats. And now for the good part, what are the pros and cons of using JMeter? First, JMeter has an IDE that you can use to record your testing. I know you might have got lost when I said IDE. I'm trying to mix in the buzzwords with the actual definitions so that when you hear it elsewhere, you know what they're talking about. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and examples of IDEs include Eclipse and Visual Studios. So you're writing code in C Sharp and Visual Studios or Java and Eclipse using the IDE for that. But now back to the pros. Full multi-threading, you can do offline testing. It's easy to install. As I said previously, it's open source, so it's free to use. So you have no risk of it just trying it out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it works, there you go. It has many plugins and add-ons to meet your specific needs for your type of testing. And finally, as a large user community, they can search questions to online and get answers for. And now the cons, because nothing's perfect. First, you're mainly limited to only web-based applications. If you want to do a recording, you must manually set up a proxy. 
Because it's based off of Java, the programming language, any custom code must be in Java also. It's open source, so it is free, but there also is no 1-800 number you can call and say, hey, I had this problem, can you help me? You must rely on a user community base that's online. And finally, using a GUI can be very resource heavy on your computer. Once again, GUI, another buzzword, that's graphical user interface. That's just a way for an application to bring a better user experience. So instead of confusing them with code and things like that, they may display a interface or like a page for user to type information to or click through. And now let's wrap it up. As you can see, JMeter is a very powerful tool. Because it's open source, it has a low cost of entry. After this video, you can start using it right away. So if you're curious, you can search on YouTube how to use JMeter. I'll probably make later videos about using JMeter. Start it today, spend a day or two on it, test its functionalities, and see if you like it. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want another video just like this, please click here. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.